Hey guys, welcome back to Tiana's Healing Through Art. Today, I have something special for you guys. Well, not really special, but something special for me because I'm gonna try something new and different. And um, I think it's gonna take some patience and some practice, but I think after a test run or two, I figured out how I'm gonna accomplish this project. So there's a painting that I've already done. It's pretty cool. And it's this one here. Can you guys see it? Yep. Can you see this little guy right here? It's not really part of the painting. Um, let me see if I can get it off. Uh, it's a little stuck. It was a skin that dried from this painting. And it's cool And my mom, mother-in-law kind of said, pointed out the fact that he looks like fish. See? Ooh. All right, so I figured, since this kind of looks like water in the deep sea, that I would take my little fishy and put him right here, see? like he's swimming home to the ocean. So, but I want to do him in resin by like a couple a couple step, a uh, few um, steps to resin him. Because what I want to do is first take the resin, um, maybe like a blue tint. I like blue tint and put the resin here and here, right? You see that? And then once the resin has started to cure, I'm gonna put this little guy right in there, right? and then resin again over top of them to kind of give him like a little 3D effect. And then I'm gonna resin the whole thing and see what I end up with. So, like I said, this is gonna take some patience and it's gonna take some time. And I'm gonna be working with a couple things because I figured out a way to block my resin off from, I uh, got a couple ideas from some videos that I do watch. And I'm gonna use this. This is some liquid latex rubber. And I did do a test run, which I should have recorded and I didn't, duh. Um, so I'm going to use this for my border and it worked great and it peeled right off. Not interfering with my paint, no damage to my canvas or anything. And then, for my resin, oh, I got a box. I love getting free stocks and supplies in the mail. It makes me so happy. So, I'm going to use my KS resin. Yay! It's two parts. There's a resin, uh, and that's the hardener, and it's just a one-to-one -one mix. It's great, and it, with this, you have a 45-minute working time, which is awesome because sometimes things don't run too smoothly. So that's what we're gonna do today, and we're going to cross our fingers that we have a success and no fails. No fails. And if so, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And by the way guys, check out my new website. The link is at the bottom of this video. And I will also um, include a link to KS Resin. Um, and you um, go on that website and if you use code Tiana's Healing, you will get a discount on your resin purchase. So, let's get going. Okay, so right here, guys, is where I'm about to apply the liquid latex rubber to the borders of um, where I'm gonna place the resin so I can place the fish at the bottom of the painting. 
So it's a bit tedious, but it is so well worth it at the end. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that the resin doesn't run over into the painting where I don't want it at this particular moment in time.
Okay, so right here I am mixing up my resin because after about 10 or 15 minutes, my liquid latex is dry. And I am using Arteza's Mica Powder and Sky Blue to give my resin a tint. And guys, please, when you're working with resin, please make sure you wear all the protective gear, gloves, and everything, and make sure you do so in a well-ventilated area. Although KS Resins resin is not, no VOC, and it does not have any odor, you still want to take all the proper precautions. So in these areas that I have primed with the latex border, I'm just going to put a little resin there and before I place my fish, I'm going to let it start to cure a little bit so that he's kind of sitting on top of the resin and not sinking into it. Okay, so now that the resin has dried and you can see I've already placed my fish and now I'm just sanding the surface of the resin. So when I apply resin to the rest of the painting, it will have something to grab onto when I apply the full layer of resin. Also, just a quick reminder, once you're finished sanding everything, you want to make sure you wipe off the canvas and the surface area really well to remove any dust left from sanding the resin down.
Okay, so now that I have finished sanding and I have cleaned, cleaned off my canvas, free from any dust particles left from the sanding, I am ready to pour the rest of my resin, which I've also put some of the Arteza Mica, um, Mica Powder in there in sky blue as well, just to give it that little shimmer in my finish. Um, also too, KS Resin is also self-leveling, so you don't have to worry about any unevenness um, in your finish as well. So right now, all you have to do is just spread your paint around, which I'm gonna do, you can do this with the uh, a staring popsicle stick, or you can just spread it out with your hands as long as they're gloved. And then you'll basically be done, move the resin around, to get it where you want, make sure your corners are filled in. I left maybe about, I wouldn't even say an eighth of an inch of a border so that it kind of gives it a, like a little dome effect on this painting as well. So you can also do that.
okay so now I'm just torching the resin to pop any air bubbles that may be sitting there because we definitely don't want any pinholes or bubbles in our resin once it's dried Okay, it's all done, and I think it looks great. Um, I bring in, you can see the little fish, and I hope you can see the shimmer um, from the mica powder that I used. I'm sorry about the glare, guys, but I really think it looks great. This was a new, uh, something new that I wanted to try and share with you guys. So I hope you loved the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell and happy pouring.